There's a really cool new feature in Blender 2.75 called Light Portals. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But what are they? Essentially, they take light, or more accurately, the light rays that go off in every direction from the environment and focus them all into a particular place. So this is most helpful in architecture in rooms such as this. And I have a light portal placed around the window and also in the back here. And so you can see that this is with no light portals and then when I render it with light portals, the noise suddenly goes away a little bit. So it just helps to refine our image a little bit faster. Now they're both rendered at 10 samples, and you can see the one with light portals took a minute and 9 seconds, while the one without took a minute and 5 seconds. So it does increase your render time per sample, but it's going to take you less samples in the long run to get a smoother result. So let me give you a really practical example, or a really simple example, so you can know exactly what's going on. So here I have this scene where it's just Cube and Suzanne, and it's being lit by the environment, and nothing else. So this is something to note that this only really works with the environment and HDRs, sky background, stuff like that. It doesn't work with lamps. So keep that in mind. Here we have our normal scene, and Typically, indoor scenes in Blender are really noisy, and it's pretty frustrating, actually, because it just takes ages to clear. So, thankfully, we can add a portal and tell Blender that all those rays that you know are scattering in all these different directions, we can just focus them all inside the room instead of having them wasted outside. So, it's sort of like a magnifying glass for rays. Now, I know that's not a very accurate example, but it's how I like to think about it because it really just sums it up. It takes all those that are being scattered out in the world where we don't even see them anyway. There's no need for all of those rays to be wasted like that. And so these portals just tell Blender, all right, go through the window instead of being scattered all around. So it's just optimizing our render and helping it to clear up faster because we're putting more rays into the room than outside of the room. So to add a light portal, we need to add an area lamp. So let's go Shift A, add lamp and area. Now this is just going to add a regular area lamp. And we need to place it between the outside and the inside. Because this is our dividing line between what's considered not necessary or less important and more important, which is the room. So let's point it facing into the room. So I'm going to rotate it negative 90 degrees and you want to make sure that it's pointing in this direction. If you're pointing it in the other direction it won't work because uh, the rays are coming in through the direction that this is pointing. So right now this is just a regular area light but if we click on portal it then switches to a portal and it doesn't look like it's doing too much right now but that's because it's really really small. The default size for an area lamp is 0.1 because when you're using a lamp that's typically the size you might want to start out with, but with the portal you want this to be very large. So let's scale this up and you can see immediately that this is getting a lot more smooth. So that is a big difference and I just want to place it in between the window here. So you can see that immediately things are starting to clear up and this is super cool. You'll notice that as you pull this forward you'll see sort of a threshold on the wall. It's fairly blurred so it's not super clear but you'll see that the back is going to be more noisy than the front. And as I start pulling this away, the effect of this portal is coming to be less and less. Because we're still, the farther back I place this, the more rays uh, we're wasting out into the environment. So when I pull this in right at the edge of the window, then light rays can pass through here and into the room and start clearing up this scene very quickly. So again, this only works for environment lighting. So use this for HDRs, things like that, and don't necessarily use it for sun lamps and stuff. That is a completely different task to tackle, much more difficult. But you can thank the developer Lucas Stockner for this. It's super awesome. Uh, go thank him either on Blender Artists or something like that, wherever you can find him, because this is pretty great. And he's just a community member that decided to contribute this, and it is awesome. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.